when you focus on the breath, remember that the breath is the force of life. It should be refreshing. It should be nourishing. And so if it doesn't feel especially refreshing or nourishing, look into it. What other ways of breathing could you think of? Sometimes we think of the breath as something we have to pull in from the outside, but you have to remember the original impulse to breathe comes from within. We'll focus on that. And allow that impulse to have room to expand so that it's not being constricted, it's not being tightened. It's got space to move. And it can move throughout the body. Ask yourself which parts of the body seem to be deprived of energy, and think of energy as suffusing them from whatever direction it may come. In other words, you open up your mind to possibilities you might not have thought of before. There's more going on in the body, more going on in the mind than you tend to notice. And the way to see these things is to open yourself up. Then you open yourself up not simply by thinking expansive thoughts, but asking yourself these perceptions I hold to, do I really have to hold to them? You can switch them around. Because it's the perceptions that shape the state of your mind. And if you're just using the same old perceptions, the mind's going to be in the same old shape it was before. You need some new perceptions to stir things up a little bit inside, give you possibilities for action that you may have closed off. So if a thought comes up in your mind and says, I can't do that, ask yourself why. What perception is getting in the way? There are some things, of course, that we can't do, but there are other things that we're just not doing because we've closed it off the, the possibility. So try to explore things for a bit to see where you can expand your possibilities. The Buddha says that true happiness is possible regardless of your background. Regardless of where you're coming from, you can create a new way of looking at things in the present moment. That's going to change the present moment. Because the present moment is not just the result of past actions or past tendencies. We have the awareness in the present moment that allows us to make choices. So again, there's some possible choices here you may not have noticed because you just closed off the possibility. So try to think in ways that op open those possibilities back up. So not only is the breath refreshing, but the mind feels refreshing too. The way you think about things, the way you look at things. Try to think and look in a refreshing way, a way that reminds you, yes, true happiness is possible. And even though we're simply on the way there at the moment, the way itself can have some potential for, for happiness too, well-being as well.